In this video, I'm going to show how to install bat insulation in your typical 2x4 wall. Okay, I want to talk a real quick about bat insulation. Now, I know it's kind of as a whole, this might be going away. I chose to use, I chose to use it on this project because it was the easiest and cheapest way for us to insulate. And with our values, going from what we had was, was probably just the wood in R1, 2, maybe 3, up to an R13. That's its greatest area of improvement. R values actually aren't equal. So an R going from R5 to R10 is much more than going from R15 to R20. Okay. Now ideally I would have spray foamed all of this, but that just wasn't in the that just wasn't in the plans this time around. So if you're ever cutting bad insulation, here's a couple of tricks for doing that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this out. I need to cut this at 99 inches. Alright, so I'm gonna mark it. And then the easiest way to cut it, I have found, is to lay down a piece of one by and compress the fiberglass. Then with a really sharp blade, you have to have a sharp blade for this. If they start to wear out, get another one, okay? It's not worth cutting it up. Compress it, you get yourself a perfect cut every single time. Now, there's a couple other things that I want to talk about, and that would go for the same if I was cutting the lengthwise, whatever, which I'll do here in a little bit. The main thing that's important about installing insulation is that you don't compress it when you put it up there. And so you'll see here, when I insulate this, I won't do that. Now, I should be wearing PPE uh, breathing mask, which I have been the whole other time I've done all this other insulation, but I just want to be able to talk to you guys through this real fast. So here we go. So I'm going to grab the insulation. I'm going to bring it up to the very top not letting it compress, and then it'll just sit in there. And there's enough resistance here that this can sit in for a little bit before I actually staple it in. Now, if you're ever gonna do a project just the way that I've done, I actually learned a couple things that maybe I knew at one point and forgot, but I wish I would have waited to tack these, uh, this lath on. I feel like the insulation would have uh, just gone in better. And then what you do is you actually, so, then to staple it, you actually just fold this over and that creates a barrier. It drives me crazy when I see people do this. That compresses the installation and lowers the R value, okay? Which is super counterproductive. So, if you fold this over like this, you get a nice vapor barrier and then you can staple it in all together uh, one at a time, all right? And so, that's really the process. There's not that much to it. It's not very hard. You don't have to spray foam or anything like that and get a special license or all those things. But this is gonna make a huge difference in the comfort of the house. All right? Now I'm just gonna staple this along the sides here, folding it over. Making sure that I get a nice vapor barrier. And I even got lucky I actually was able to shove that down a little bit farther, which was great. And I'll grab this. Then I'll wait to staple this side in until I get all of this in there. So I'm gonna quit talking so I can put my breathing barrier on. And uh, <coughs> for good reason. And uh, we'll get kicking butt on this thing. So this is actually the beginning of the project when we were first starting to install it. I was fortunate enough to have a buddy there to help me out for the first part, and I didn't want to have to have him watch me recording the installation. So installing this is pretty straightforward. Again, the laugh I really wish that I would have waited to put it on until uh, after the installation, but live and learn. And... Uh, so for calculating how much uh, insulation I actually needed, I just basically measured the distance in general of how long each piece would be, and simply add them together, or multiply them by the same, by the number of uh, spaces that I needed. And I actually measured it quite well. I had very little left over, and what I did, I just threw into the attic, which, you know, can't hurt, I figure, uh, help the insulation value up there. Here's a view of what it looks like when it's all finished up. I think it turned out pretty decent. Um, I'm not a professional installer, but I'm really happy with how it came out. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and this is just my final thoughts on what happened. 
All right, well, the room is insulated. The electrical is up, ready to go. Obviously the plaster is all ripped out. It is time to uh, do the final cleanup. And then I gotta go pick up the drywall. So uh, this is a very exciting time, I'm very excited. All right, cool.